Welcome to PaintingLessonsOnline.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer an image onto the canvas using the gridding system. The gridding system is really great for beginners because it allows you to get the correct proportions and shapes of each object. What you'll need to do is measure your canvas. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and then divide that into two for each dimension to print out your image. So this is an eight by 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this image into one inch squares, and I'm going to divide this canvas into two inch squares. So we've got eight inches to 16, 10 inches to 20. It's just double the value. This, just use a ruler, and I'm going to do two inch sections. Measure it on both sides. and then connect the markings. So divide this into two inch sections. and transfer. Now do the same for the image. Divide it into one inch squares. I'm going to use a sharpie just so that you can see the lines better there at home, but feel free to use a pencil when you divide your image. This way as well. There we are, now we have our two images ready for transfer. It may make it easier for you to number your boxes. There we are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in each box and see what's there. So in the first box, we have our first flower. It's got, I'm just going to copy the shapes exactly. So it's got its stem here, then it kind of comes out, the, the shapes, and it dips down into this box a little bit like that. So we have the first flower already. Now in the second box, we have these diamond shapes. Now these diamond shapes are the flowers that have not been opened yet, or their leaves. Uh, the smaller ones look like to, to be the buds, and the larger ones down here are the leaves. So I've got two, three of them in box number two, and one of them in box number three, and also a flower that is mostly in the two-two box. This two-two box also has some more buds. And I'm just trying to copy their direction and size. So I made my flower a little big. So I'm just going to come here and I'm just going to draw it smaller. No big deal. So I'm copying the buds. And then now I'll go to this box here. And it's got a flower in it. And it's got the leaves that are behind the flower. And then this box has got a flower, but this flower 
kind of crosses over into four separate squares. So I got it in all four squares. And then here we have uh, one of the, the leaves. So the leaves are bigger. Here's another leaf. And I'm just copying the angles of the leaves. So here, see this one resembles this leaf. This one resembles that leaf. So we've got a leaf here at box three to four. Four, three, there we go. So it's just a, a diamond with some lines. And there's another flower here. He's got a petal coming out into the other box. And there's also some small budding flowers. There we go. All right, in box two five, we've got this petal. It's got some small budding flowers and another budding flower there. And the top of a flower that is in four different boxes, like so. All right, so this next flower is majorly in box seven to three. So seven, three. It kind of peaks up into 7-2 a little bit. There we go, and there's a little petal over there. A leaf at the bottom of 7-3. And some leaves here with a rosebud. More leaves coming down. And another flower in box 7-4. This one has a large leaf where its tip is in 8-4. And, and then there's a big flower down here. Maybe it's two flowers that are connected. Like so. Then here in 5-7 and 5-8 we have these two big leaves. So we got a diagonal leaf there. Then this leaf is kind of like the shape of a heart with a bend at the bottom, just like that. Now this box is another flower. Then we have a flower that's in all four of them. Uh, another flower here with a bud in front of it. And let's see, so this flower extends to here and here. Another flower that extends out. There we are. Now let's start back on this side. So for four, one, one, two, three, four, we have another flower and it's got a stem. Flower comes almost all the way to the edge and it dips down into five. Then in this next box, we have several leaves and another flower and its stem. There we are. More flowers here. And we've got some leaves that come out this way. And another small flower in box 1-5. In box 6-2, we have some leaves. a lot of flowers. This area is a lot of flowers going on. Maybe I'll just outline some of the darker areas. So in box 
I've got um, a small black leaf and a squiggle right there, another leaf kind of halfway in between the two sides, some, some more leaves or buds, not quite sure which is which, and there we go. So now we can go to seven, two, and three. Seven, two, and three. We have a flower that comes out into it down here. And then there is a leaf right there. Another leaf here. Then there's a flower that's in the majority of seven, four, but kind of comes over into these other spaces as well. Underneath that flower is another leaf. And a leaf coming out on the right hand side. This section is a lot of leaves here, two small flowers, a whole bunch of flowers over here, some leaves, another leaf. So let's see, we're in seven, six now. And we've got the leaves at the top and leaves at the bottom. Big flower here. Over the vase on in box 5-8 we have some circular flowers. This one's a bit bigger. Uh, we've got the leaves there and then another flower here and a leaf coming off of the flower. In box 7-7 seven, seven, we have another flower that has some leaves hanging off. Above that is the back of a flower with a leaf. Um, and that's pretty much most of them. Let's see what's in this box. Five, six. Five, six. Okay, so there's some leaves going on in this box. I can draw those, the buds and the leaves. Just so I know where to put the shadows. And this one's got a shadow over here and up there. Okay, now I can do the vase. So I can see the vase starts in 7-4, touches the edge of 8-4, comes down, swoops back into 9-4, and starts circling at 10-4 and 10-5. So I'm, I'm going to try to copy that, starting in 7-4, hitting the corner, skimming along 8-4, swooping in at 9-4, and then having the round bottom that comes almost to the edge of 10. It's a little bit of a, a scoop right there. You can see how it scoops on the inside right there and then widens out a little bit. Comes out there. So that's the shape of the vase. I think actually I can add an extra flower right here I missed. There we go. And an extra leaf. And then the line of the table is in nine and that's at the bottom of nine. So we're gonna draw a line close to the bottom of nine all the way across. You can use the ruler if you want to make it really straight or you can attempt to freehand it. And then down here in the 10 area in the the 10 7 we have a flower that's a petals that have fallen and some of the leaves that have fallen as well that kind of come out into that side and then a couple over here There we go. So now we have the correct proportions and shapes for our painting. It takes a little bit of extra work to grid out the system, but it really saves a lot of time when it comes to getting the correct proportions. It's much easier to break them down into these little sections than to start on a whole blank canvas as one. You can now use this as a paint by numbers, so just fill in the color for each segment that you see. Good luck and happy painting. Thank you for joining us at paintinglessonsonline.com.